Hello, my name is Carly and welcome or welcome back to my channel um, and this video and I should probably shut that door window. Window shut. Let's let's do this. But welcome back to my video. Uh, my video, my channel. I don't know what I'm saying. This video, I thought it would be fun to do a weekly reading vlog and not just any weekly reading vlog, but I'm kind of curious to see how much, how many pages I read this week. I don't typically track how many pages I read because I tried that one year and I hated it. <laughs> and so I don't usually do that, but I've seen them, some ideas kind of going around recently and I thought it seemed fun to do. And this isn't <clears throat> a typical week for myself because we are just getting out of like a fairly busy part of my job. Um, Monday is like the deadline day and then I get an extra like two and a half days off. No, yes, two. Two and a half days off this week. Extra two and a half days off this week. And so it's a mixture of I have more free time this week. Uh, the sun is like finally staying out a little bit more and it's starting to kind of sort of get a little bit warmer and so I'm finally feeling alive again. I'm just in the mood to read so I thought it would be fun to see how much I read because I'm also, did I say I've been in the mood to read? I've been in the mood to read and I've been reading some really good books. I finished two books last week which is insane considering the work week I had but I finished, what did I finished Just for the Summer by Abby Jimenez and Hellbent by Lee Bardugo but I am currently reading you again. I don't know who writes that. I should figure that out. I'll put a picture. Yes, it's another, yet another Rilo fanfic turned traditionally published book. And I'm about 100 pages in and I am absolutely, I am really, I should say absolutely loving it, but I am really, really enjoying it. I read, I don't know, I read maybe like 60, 70 pages last night, maybe 80 pages. And it was one of those times where I had my tea and I was laying in bed and I just read. I didn't even think about the time or the pages I was reading. Um, I didn't even want to check my phone or anything. I just read, which doesn't happen as often as I would like. So yeah, that's what I'm currently reading and I will update you and take you along with me um, this week while I read. I just got back from Target and I think we gotta applaud myself because I did not buy myself a book this time. Um, so wins for me, uh, but I did recently buy more books, but no books at Target today. I feel like I do such, like I fail at this whole YouTube book thing um, because I have such a bad habit of never telling you guys like the synopsis or we're even remembering to give you the synopsis slash I do a bad job at giving this synopsis um because I realized I never told you what you again is about though I'm sure most of you already know about it but like you know let's kind of let, let's fill in the people that don't know um but basically you again is a romance novel it is I think I'm pretty sure it used to be a Rilo fanfic that was turned into a traditionally published novel I don't care um that's besides the point but the book follows Ari and Josh they both live in New York City and Josh is trying to be some like fine dining chef his dad owned a, tr a deli that was really famous and really popular and he Josh wants nothing to do with that um and trying to find his own way in the world and Ari wants to be a comedian and it isn't going so great for her and they meet throughout the years and each time they meet they kind of butt heads and fight and and where I'm at in the novel now, I think it's finally the time where they are finally going to meet. They're both at like their lowest points and they're finally going to meet and get to know each other. And this romance is going to develop. That is that book. <sighs> right, Lily? Yeah. The cat doesn't care. Happy 
it is a good day. It was a good day. I did a whole lot of nothing at work. We all did a whole lot of nothing at work and it felt so good to be doing nothing and like different things than what we've been doing. Um, and I get tomorrow off. Yes. You can tell I just got home from work. Um, my cat needs to be fed and I need to pick a hair thing off of her, but she won't let me get close to her right now. Maybe she'll scratch it off. No, I just don't want her to throw up again. And that also means because I have tomorrow off, I will be doing probably more reading tonight. We'll see, we'll see, we'll try. I'm trying to hopefully maybe get through this book by the end of the week, but we'll see. But I read, I did some reading last night. I didn't really update. I didn't really update, I didn't update. Okay, well that's the Shady Chateau, Carols of Paris, the Leather CD. Cute! But I think I read about 60 pages. I'm just going back to off the page count on my Kindle, which you know what? It counts for me. It counts for me. I would have liked to go further, but I was getting tired and I needed sleep because I still had to work today. So hopefully I will read more. Um, but 60 pages is pretty good. A little more than average, I would say, for myself. I usually try to read about 50 pages a day, a night, and anything more than that's pretty good. But I also try not to get too hard on myself if I don't read 50 pages, like just the fact that I read or listened to what I needed to listen to myself. But yeah, so far, even with 50, 60 more pages read, I'm still liking it. It feels very much like different, what is the word? I keep thinking vinaigrettes, vin vinaigrettes, is that the word? Like we're just getting like little pieces of each of them. Like there really isn't a continuation between the scenes of these characters meeting, even now when we're very much in the time period where these two are gonna like, are getting to know each other and like are gonna fall in love. We don't really get really much else other than the scenes with these characters, which I don't hate it's just it's kind of an interesting way story telling telling I would say overall this has been a very easy book to read and I am eager to continue with it but I am probably gonna do a little workout right now I think my body could use a little bit of movement because it hasn't moved very much um so I'm thinking some yoga and then I'm probably just gonna like relax sit down and relax because even though today was an easy day and it was I still somehow was at work for nine hours I don't I don't really know how that worked out um, but it did but, but the time went by very quickly so yeah that's gonna be my evening I'm really really excited yeah maybe I'll check in later I don't know we'll see I guess I should shut the window um anyway happy Tuesday I've got some random number calling me if it's important they will leave a message it is Tuesday. I did a little bit more reading last night. Um, it was both less than I th wanted to and more than I thought I would because what kind of ended up happening was that I knew, I knew what I ate sort of for dinner-esque was gonna give me a stomach ache. And what do you know? It gave me a stomach ache. So I didn't read as much as I wanted to because I had a stomach ache. Um, <laughs> and, but I read more than I thought because I kind of did just sit down to read and even though I had the stomach ache, I still read more than I thought I would when I wasn't feeling very well. So yeah, so I think I read about 30-ish pages, um, but I haven't really checked and I will have a more actual amount at the end of this video. But today, today, today is about 10.30. There's stuff like I want to do today, I need to do. It's one of those things where I have so much I want to do and there's like not enough time to do it. So I need to like pick and choose exactly what I want to do. Um, but one of those things I'm absolutely gonna do is I have I need to make a return so I need to like print all that stuff off and I guess run to the post office. Oh there is a voicemail. And then I bought something that I need to build because it's currently still sitting in the living room. My mom's not going to be too happy if it sits there for much longer. But I also like want to read and I need to do some studying and I want to play my video game. And so yeah we'll see where the day takes me. Um, and I will possibly keep you guys updated with that. Happy Wednesday! It is Wednesday and halfway through this week. Just, well, 
you see I just got off work I got off work like an hour ago and I was just catching up on some studying which I just finished what I wanted to do um and we'll do more at a later date tomorrow we'll do more tomorrow yes reading what did I do last night I read I think I read about 60 pages it was about 60% of the way through the book now and um just had like one of those penultimate scenes where like the tension has like risen and you're just like <sighs> you're on edge as the reader just as much as the characters are on edge with the conversation that they are having where's the car gone um and And yeah, it was just, it was really, really, really good. So I will definitely do more reading tomorrow and then tomorrow for work as we have been so lovingly calling it early release. So maybe get more reading done tomorrow. Definitely get more reading done. Like I said, I am planning to finish this book this week. Um, and I definitely can. It is a, for how long it is, like my Kindle says it's almost like 450 pages, um, which is ridiculous for a romance book to be quite honest with you but this one reads very quickly and like i was saying earlier i think it it's um like snippets of life it feels like snippets of life if that makes sense um but it reads really quickly which and it's i'm having an enjoyable time with it so what am i gonna do right now i am gonna talk over these cars i'm going to probably make myself some dinner and watch some show episode of a show which funny story I new thing I built that yesterday you'll see like a video coming but I built that yesterday and I turned on a new show yesterday and like completely jumped past the first episode to watch like the last episode of season one and the first episode of season two and I did not realize it until after I had finished watching the first episode of season two and I only realized it was because the next episode was titled like 7.1 or something which looks very much like a F season seven episode one and I was like I am definitely not on season seven of the show uh, and then I realized that 7.1 is the name of an episode and that episode is in season two so and then and then and then I was like well do I even want to go back and watch the rest of season one because I already kind of know what happens um anyway I've never done that before but luckily i I honestly was not lost not too lost I just kind of thought it was one of those shows where we got thrown into the middle of everyone and their relationships and then that's what we were gonna learn that's where the character growth was gonna come start coming in so yeah that was fun today is the Thursday it is about 2 15 to 18 it says but I got off work early I don't have to work tomorrow as I keep mentioning um I just worked out I got lunch I'm gonna go eat got some sushi I'm so excited about it. and there's more things I should do but I think I'm gonna sit down and read I what did I do I read about 60 ish pages last night and so I have about a hundred ish pages left and this may be wild but I think I can finish this today and so it's super duper nice out um, and so I think I'm gonna go eat my lunch read my book um, and we'll see if we can finish it this like this afternoon or something um, but yeah I'm so excited for the weekend and I'm so excited to have the rest of the afternoon off and yeah it's gonna in the sun it's gonna be it's gonna be a good weekend <laughs> Thursday uh, it is now like 6 30 ish 6 40 ish something like that my mom and I just got back from dinner and I just took a shower uh, but I did finish you again by Kate the Goldbeck I think I'm gonna give this a like a four star like I'm gonna round up to a four star overall I did enjoy the book I think there's a little bit of disappointment there because 
I think in the back of my mind, what I've sort of been hoping was that this would be like a five star book for me and I would be absolutely obsessed with it. And I'm not. It's always disappointing, but this wasn't a bad book by any means. I think what I had hoped more from it was that I think one more of the character growth um, that I didn't think was fully there. I had my thoughts together and now I don't. And yeah, it just like wasn't quite there for me. It was still a good book. It was very solid. Um, for being like 400 pages, I didn't feel like I read a 400 page romance novel. It read very quickly, but it did feel like it felt like there was a lot of filler scenes rather than scenes where the characters were actually like growing and doing stuff. It was good, but I'm not about to run out. I get it. And like I said, I thought I would be like obsessed with it and I'm not. It is still a good book. And if you're a romance or thinking about picking it up, I would recommend it. You got two like almost grumpy people coming together um, and finding comfort in themselves with each other the time where they are both going through like the worst time of their life. It's good. It was a good book, but I also do got to say, I like it. I laugh every time I see the cover like it it looks like such a fake cover like can we get this book like a slightly better cover please that's that update I am glad to get that done I'm gonna return it to my library and then I am thinking I still want to do some more reading tonight not right away because I am gonna lay in bed and watch a couple episodes of a show that I just started but I know later tonight I want to start this book. I knew this was going to be my next book. I started, um, I would have started it sooner, but I had you again and um, that has a due date and I did want to read that. So I'm going to read this and I guess we'll see how far I get into it in the next couple days of this video. But I am really excited to read this. Like I want to sit down and read and I specifically want to sit down and read this. But like I said, I am going to watch a TV show first. <laughs> all right i didn't update at all yesterday so it is now saturday don't know how much i read yesterday not as much as i wanted to but like yeah i don't know i'll have to keep track Oh, mm, forgot to update today. But currently I am at my friend's house and I am dog sitting. Heard her fiance's dog for like three hours today while I go to some child's birthday party. I'm gonna try to get a little bit of reading done and um, I'm probably watch some TV. I don't know. If you can hear anything, that's the dog eating. I think he's eating. I love this dog. I'm not a dog person, um, but this dog is adorable. You probably will see some clips and have already seen some clips, um, but he is like one, one and a half. And he's deaf and he is just the best boy. I love him. He's my favorite boy. I let my friend know that every time. That is sort of the plan for today. now like two weeks later and I'm now gonna just finally film this wrap up <laughs> um sorry now that you're gonna notice because it's only one video but um I spent a week reading an unrealistic week mm, not so much for the reading part because I now have the numbers and they're sitting in front of me and I'm surprised but also not we'll go over that in a bit but unrealistic in my like work way and the time I had to read but uh yeah let's wrap it up I guess this is me rambling so basically I spent a whole week reading Sunday through Saturday 
Um, I ended up reading two books, not fully, but I read You Again and I started reading The Words of Radiance. And, and so on Sunday, I read a total of 60 pages. On Monday, I read 33 pages. That was my lowest amount read. On Tuesday, I read 56 pages. On Wednesday, I read 67. On Thursday, I read 93 pages of You Again and then five pages from The Words of Radiance. So for a total of 98 pages. Friday, I read 49 pages and Saturday, I read 56 pages with a total of 419 pages read for the whole week. When I was adding these numbers up, like the 60, 50 ish, that is about the amount of pages I usually read per day or I try to, especially when I'm reading a huge book like The Words of Radiance is. Um, I typically do try to read about 50 pages a day to just kind of get through it quicker. Or like with you again, it was pretty easy to read 50 pages um, in a day. And I was hoping and knew I could finish that book that week. So I was trying harder. Like the 93 pages is not usual, but I was like right there at the end and I knew I could do it and I wanted to do it. Um, I wanted to reach that end point. So individually, I was a little unsurprised, but like 419 pages in a week is quite a few pages. That's basically a book right there. So I don't know. Seeing that is pretty cool. I thought this was an interesting experience to kind of see, I guess, where I'm at with my reading. I don't know how else to put that because this wasn't too untypical for me. Um, and some days I'll read more and some days I'll read less. And that's just how reading goes. But I guess all in all, I do try to take time before bed usually um, every day to read because I want to and I like to. But that that was this video. That was this week. That was this week. That was la that the week that I filmed this. Um, I know I didn't really update a whole lot. Got busy and distracted um, with stuff. But reading wise, I had a lot of fun and I enjoyed at least for a week to see what it is, how much it is that I read. If you watch this far, let me know. Honestly, if you keep track of how many pages you read in a day or a week, um, if this is pretty typical or more or less how much people read, it doesn't really matter. To be honest, this was just for fun. <clears throat> but yeah, that's gonna be this video. Uh, if you, again, let me know what you thought, what we thought, know what you think about the books. Let me know what you're reading right now. Let me know um, if you read, I guess, in the same way that I do, um, or if you have different ways of reading. But I hope you liked the video, um, and I hope to see you again in another video soon. Bye!